Hi everyone, my name is Craig, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to organize, prepare, and cut out foam for your traveling hard cases. There are many brands of hard cases, such as Pelican, Nanook, Apache, and many more, but most of these cases utilize a similar foam system for protection. But not everyone knows how to properly go about organizing and preparing your cases for whatever needs you might have. I own my own video production company, so in this video, I will be filling one of these cases with video equipment, but the same principles apply for you musicians, you audio crew members, gun owners, and many more. The cases I personally own are the large Pelican 1610 case and two Apache 5800 cases. Also, this is just my process, but not necessarily the right process. But if my method can help people protect their equipment, then I count that as a win. So let's dive into it. So the first thing you have to do is determine what is going to go into your case. You need to think about what orientation your items are going to be placed in, the length, the height, the shape of each one of your items, and weight is also a factor. If you are filling multiple cases, it might be beneficial to distribute weight evenly between your cases, but this all comes down to individual preference. I started by laying out all of my essential items on a table and then began placing them on the case by priority. My first case, I started with the camera bodies and lenses. I mapped out how I wanted them to look on the case, then began outlining what foam to remove. There are several ways you can do this, but I prefer two methods. The toothpick method, in which you figure out which pieces of foam to remove by outlining your object with a toothpick, or the Sharpie method, which is tracing your object with a Sharpie and then removing the foam that falls within the outline. I used both of these methods when making my cases. Next comes to cutting out the foam. In my experience, I found that using a flathead screwdriver is the best way to cut out the foam. You could also use a pocket knife or even a butter knife, but I wouldn't recommend using a really sharp knife because you can actually cut through more of the foam than you're wanting to cut through. An important reminder here is to go slow because you can always remove more foam, but you can't ever put the foam back. So start conservatively and then take out more if you need. Also, tighter is better. You want a snug fit in your cases to minimize the movement of objects when traveling. You also wanna make sure you don't overstuff, so you gotta find that balance. Budget at least two to three rows of foam squares between your items so that there is an even cushion throughout the entire case. Next, prioritize by need. Cables, batteries, small chargers, audio cables, things like this can all fit nicely into a small travel bag, so it might not be worth cutting out slots in your case for these items when you can fit them into a small pocket of your traveling bag. Something else to consider is multi-purposing slots. What this might look like practically as a videographer is deciding to only take two camera bodies instead of three. I wanna make sure that my camera slots are big enough that I can fit an audio recorder, a small light, or something else to utilize that space in the event that I'm not taking a particular item with me. Another tip, if you were doing multiple cases at once, make sure you do one at a time so you can ensure you feel good about your process and that things are going smoothly while you're cutting out your phone. Finally, don't stress if you make a mistake. Most companies offer replacement foam for about $30 to $40, so if you make a mistake, it isn't the end of the world and you can get yourself some replacement foam. Thanks so much for taking time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Much love.